Let's talk about partnerships. You know, when I came to the racetrack many, many years ago, it was Green Tree, owned by the DuPonts or the Whitney's. It was Calumet. It was uh, just one, you know, Jan Newrod had Tartan Stable. It was one big stable after another, owned by one family or one entity. So a trainer would train 50, 60, 70 horses for one owner. He had to make one phone call a day. He had to only answer to one person. And that, my how, times have changed. That has become the untruth. There are very few owners that own a lot of horses now. I don't know if it's the expenses. I don't know if it's the mindset. But it just doesn't happen anymore. And the thing of this business today is partnerships. And partnerships take a horse and they split it in X amount of pieces. And people can find their comfort level and be in a partnership at a certain level that they're comfortable with. They can own 5% of a horse, 10% of a horse. Matter of fact, I was doing a discussion with a bunch of people the other day. My entire barn, pretty much, has become partnerships. Many, many people owning one horse. People, regular people who think they can own a horse, owning 5 or 10% of a horse. And they, they do a, it's, it's a very good thing. Partnerships get people's feet wet without breaking them. Believe me, when you get to the winner's circle, nobody says to you, how much of that horse do you own? Do you own 2%, 3%, 5%? Because it's your horse, and you own that horse, and it's a great thing. So partnerships are like anything else. There's good ones, and there's bad ones. Some partnerships, you know, you're just in a can't-win situation. You put up X amount of dollars, and the money that's earned by that horse is burned up through advertising and supporting the, the, the people who run it and the salary of the president and the salary of the vice president and the office staff and everything else. And it seems like you put your money up for a partnership and you never see a check. You might have some fun. You might win races. You get to feed your horse carrots. But that check is rather elusive. We, we do things a little different, and many partnerships do it like this as well. We'll take a horse and we will split it into a partnership, whether it's 10 people or 20 people at 5%, and you have your own entity. And with computers and the way things are today, you get billed for your entity. You answer directly to the trainer, you own your piece of the horse, you make a purse, you own five or 10%, you know that you're getting a check for that five or 10%. At the end of the month, you get a bill for that five or 10%. It seems to be the way people are going with partnerships today is to take a piece of a horse, but you know that is your entity. That is your piece, and you support your piece of that horse. You support your piece of that horse, you'll get your veterinarian bill every month. You'll get your shipping bill when a horse ships. You'll get your, uh, your trainer's bill at the end of the month. And that's the way it's done in my barn. And there's many people out there that do it like that. People will come to me every day and say, you know, Gary, I'd like to own 10% of a horse. Tell me about the expenses. And I'll explain to them, ah, it's probably about 3,500 a month, so 10% is $350 a month. If that's your comfort level, great. Well, I'd like to get 10% of the next horse that you claim. Beautiful. I, I call them the next time we're gonna claim a horse. They're in for 10%, they agree to it, they're, they're a horse owner. But that's not the only way to do a partnership. There are plenty of good partnerships out there that will let somebody buy $1,000 worth of a horse, $500 worth of a horse. What that percentage is, is minuscule. What the return is on your $1,000 or $2,000, I can't say for sure. But it's not going to be unknown. It's more of an unknown. But that doesn't mean they're bad. You got the horse ownership thrill. You got that whole perspective of being a horse owner, and you can and you can own horses with a partnership, and not even pay any bills. There's groups like Drawing Away Stable, very very successful New York partnership. I like those guys; they're a lot of fun. They have picnics every day. You see them every day at the racetrack. They're eating. That's a good thing. They're having fun. They you put up two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, whatever it is, and you own a small piece of one of their horses. It's a pay no bills partnership. You never have to invest another dime. You never see a bill. But 
I'm not so sure if you ever see a check either. But you do have the fun times. You do have the interaction. I would have to let them explain it to you. But among that type of partnership, they're among the most successful. Other partnerships, high-end partnerships, West Point Thoroughbreds. Good guy, Terry Finley. You buy into a horse, but you pay a monthly nut. You have a fixed fee that you pay every month, and you pay for that horse. You'd have to dogwood. Cot Campbell, wonderful guy. Puts four or five people on a horse. It's a little higher end. It's a little more of a percentage. But Cot Campbell's a sweetheart. He's won the Derby. He's got Palace Malice. He does a great job. And I train for him, too, so he does an even greater job. But that's another type of partnership that you can get involved with higher end very good honest people and you can own you have a horse ownership so the bottom line with horse ownership is ask questions have a comfort level with the guy you're dealing with understand everything how much am i putting up where can i expect to see a return what kind of bills am i going to pay if any and show me what other people are doing in your partnership give me the names of a horse Get all your questions asked because if you just hand somebody your money and, they, and it's a vague kind of investment in something or other, that's what you're going to end up with, something or other. So do your homework and make sure you ask questions because anybody that's legitimate is going to be more than happy to answer your questions for you and you must have the answers before you set foot into these waters.